The Xbox wireless headset is a solid workhorse thanks to a couple of really smart design ideas and better than average sound. It also has a few elements that aren't necessarily bad, but are definitely a bit underwhelming, like its microphone and its battery life. It nails the important stuff though, and the useful features far outweigh the problems when you're talking about a $100 headset. While it won't scare any high-end home theater headset rivals, it's a strong and versatile mid-level pick for day-to-day -day Xbox use. Fashioned in black molded plastic with just a splash of Xbox green on the cans, there's an elegant look to it that feels complementary to the Xbox Series X's design. The adjustable top band is hard plastic with a steel inner frame padded with leatherette coated foam that's firm but comfortable. The sides of the band slide so you can adjust the fit and there's a nice tactile response as you adjust. The ear cups are also padded with supportive leatherette and foam. That padding creates a seal that offers a small but noticeable passive noise canceling effect. That said, the padding can be a bit overbearing and can sometimes rub uncomfortably against the base of your ear. The headset's best asset is its simple but graceful ear cup controls. Many wireless headsets have a tendency to load up the back of the ear cups with a cluster of indiscernible buttons you have to blindly fumble with, but the Xbox headset spreads out its controls using dials and just a couple of buttons, all of which are easily distinguishable by touch. The outer circles of the ear cups are both rotating dials. Right controls volume while the left controls game and chat mix. There are just two buttons on the left cup, a long thin button that doubles as pairing and power and a flat inset mute button. Lastly, there's a USB-C port tucked away for charging or wired connection. Given the button's positions and shapes, it's easy to tell which is which, making them infinitely more useful than the vast majority of onboard headset controls. On the inside, the headset features 40 millimeter drivers that generate a sharp concussive sound. Like many budget and mid-range headsets, it delivers a bass-heavy soundscape that delivers a real punch when grenades go off and things get explosive in, say, Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Unlike other headsets, though, its deep lows don't impact how it sounds outside of those situations. In control, in-game dialogue comes through crisp and clear, and the ever-encroaching sound of the hiss stays distinct from the echoey messages that come from the beyond. That said, when listening to music, some songs come through slightly compressed. The music is clear, but certain parts feel like they're merging together. These kinds of mild flaws aren't uncommon for a gaming headset, especially at this price. At the same time, it's much easier to recommend these to an Xbox player than someone on PC, where there are more options with universally superb audio. The microphone also has some ups and downs. It picks up your voice very clearly, but also a lot of ambient noise. There is an adjustable auto mute feature that's supposed to silence your mic when you're not speaking in order to block out background noise, but it's produced mixed results in our testing. It blocks enough noise to make the headset clear and usable, but it's far from the best headset mic out there. Like just about every Xbox peripheral these days, the Xbox wireless headset has versatile connectivity, supporting both the Xbox wireless protocol for consoles and Bluetooth for PC and mobile devices. You can also use the Xbox protocol on Windows via the Xbox wireless adapter or wired via USB-C. Battery life is a bit of a weak spot though. Our testing found that it lasted through more than a full day of play, which is in line with Microsoft's 15 hour estimate, but it's well short of the many headsets we've tested that can go up to 20 to 25 hours, like the SteelSeries Arctis 7X. If you don't wanna charge it every other day, that's significant. On the software side, the headset offers basic equalizer customization and a few other things on both Xbox and PC through Microsoft's Xbox Accessories app. Depending on how you approach it, the app is either anemic or a minimalist breath of fresh air. 
By PC standards, the settings here feel like the bare minimum. On Xbox though, where customization apps are few and far between, any customization is still better than nothing. The Xbox wireless headset is extremely solid. A thoughtful design, great control layout, and easy pairing make it pleasantly simple to use. And its sound, while not mind-blowing, is as good or better than most Xbox headsets in its price range, with a microphone that's clear as long as there's not too much ruckus in the background. For most Xbox players, it should feel like an upgrade and fit like a glove. For more on everything in the world of Xbox, stay tuned to IGN's weekly Xbox show, Podcast Unlocked, and for everything in the world of gaming, stick with IGN. <laughs>